Hey, this is David with the Shepherd School. It's the day before uh, Mother's Day, about one or so in the morning. Wife's asleep and I wanted to surprise her. Uh, and I'm going to make some pineapple upside down cake. However, you know, my wife uh, is trying to diet, trying to get a little healthier. Wanting me to get a little bit healthier. And uh, uh, if I made her whole cake, she might get a little upset. So we're going to make individually portioned uh, pineapple upside down cake. And what I've got is some tuna cans, some cleaned out, washed out tuna cans, because, you know, tuna and cake aren't two tastes that go great together. And basically, they're just greased and floured, all right? And then I've got some pineapples, whole slices, some maraschino cherries, some molasses, which you don't have to use that. And then I've got some cake mix, okay? And uh, all I'm going to do, just like regular, pineapple upside down cake is we're going to put a pineapple slice in each tuna can while my oven is being preheated to about 325. center those up a little bit. And just because this is a little extra, you don't have to do that. Not even sure it's a good idea. And with your mix, you're only wanting to fill it about two-thirds of the way full because it's going to expand. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is cook this for about 25 or 30 minutes, and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, there they are after coming out of the oven. And we're just going to flip them upside down onto uh, the plate. And there we go. Our individual tuna can uh, Mother's Day pineapple upside down cake. So, there we go. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Until next time, you can always catch us on www.teengun.com.